Hello and welcome to ProGrow Hydroponics. My name is Matt Ross and I am the inventor of the ProG line of products. I'd like to take a few minutes so I can personally introduce you to the ProGrow Hydroponics systems and growing methodologies as they are causing some confusion. This is to be expected as they are completely new. With some familiar ideas and parts we source from the home, construction, automotive, and hydroponic industries. Repurposing would be putting it lightly. Be assured its simplicity in both looks and use only hides years of engineering. When it comes to indoor or controlled gardening, lighting is more than covered with a wide array of both type and cost options. You can get extremely finite control that allows you to replicate nature with anything from light type to light movers to second by second timers with power usage reports sent to your phone daily at any time you choose. Grow lights advance as fast as any technology. There's something new just about daily. When it comes to hydroponics though, Everyone seems to have thrown up their hands and accepted what has become the norm. Tiny tabletop system, five gallon buckets or 20 gallon bins for deep water culture or DWC, or giant complex, incomplete ebb and flow systems that terrify the new grower. It makes the experienced grower apprehensive because they know it's going to take up a full room, be 20 trips to the hardware store, and more than likely end up being a leaky mess. Let's get into some of the specifics of the Pro-G system now and some of the differences between the Pro-G and what's out there. Most home reservoirs are made from injection molded plastic bins or buckets that are a sixteenth of an inch or so thick, which is the black plastic seam on top. We make our reservoirs from a half inch cellular polymer that is watertight, flexible, lightweight, yet extremely strong that's the piece on the bottom. We start with four foot by eight foot sheets combined with our proprietary stronger than material bonding techniques which is how we can make any size and most any shape system and still have it covered by the patent which includes being leak proof. We have come up with a perfect size system for the home gardener and the Pro-G. Most hydroponic systems use the same type of lines and tubings you use for fish tanks with really no standardized sizes, which makes replacement, fixing, and expanding extremely difficult. This is what's gonna send you back and forth to the hardware store. A quarter inch tube where the inside diameter is a quarter inch, but the part you have, that's the outside diameter. The unions, valves, and fittings tend to be hard to work with and fragile, but that may be that I have bigger hands than most. We use half inch PEX tubing and all lead free and food safe copper PEX fittings and crimp rings throughout our entire nutrient distribution system. The nutrient distribution system is made up of the pump, the nutrient distribution manifold, the feeding bars located in the feeding tubes, and the flexible lines you are seeing being screwed together. There is also a convenient external hose bib that lets you hook up any standard garden hose and let the pump drain the reservoir for you. PEX is commonly used in plumbing in place of copper or hard plastic PVC piping in both home and commercial applications. It may seem like overkill, but our main goal was to make the system easy to work with, easy to fix, and easy to change and expand while being as strong and lightweight as possible. We do incur higher costs for our build. Bottom line, our system costs more to build. The materials we use are highly superior, so just initial cost is much higher not to mention manufacturing itself. These proven materials have given us that ability. It may be a lot harder than running to Home Depot and getting a plastic bin or bucket to make a quick DWC, but there's a lot of growers and more importantly people who want to learn to grow that are intimidated by all the moving parts of hydroponics or simply aren't mechanical or don't have tools or time to learn any of this stuff. Okay, now on to our grow tube. Our standard grow tube is four inches, which gives you about 30% more room than three inch PVC, but three holes, seven inches apart. Oddly, people seem to think you have to use all the holes and fill them with plants. You do not. Most bushy plants will grow into whatever space you give them or how trimmed you keep them. We use whatever combination of holes makes sense and try to put a variety of tall, stocky, in between more bushy plants. We also make custom tubes up to 10 feet in length with the hole spacing configured however the end user wants it. 
The best part of our tubes is the gates at the ends. These simple gates allow the grower to use a variety of substrates from cocoa fiber to peat moss. This lets the gardener choose how long they want to keep the roots moist, even after a feeding cycle has completed. Cocoa fiber drains immediately while peat moss with perlite holds the moisture a lot longer. This is so important as the roots of different plants take in nutrients differently depending on moisture levels. Plants take in different nutrients during a wet feeding cycle and then when the roots have mostly dried. These are the types of things that end up being fun and neat to monitor and play with. You can try and replicate the perfect earth for your plants along with being able to truly control feeding. Let's talk about our silicone boots. These are the same boots used on turbocharged and supercharged cars and trucks. So 300 pounds of burst pressure or 600 degrees of temperature are what's needed to blow these out. Maybe a little overkill again, perhaps, but man, they look great. Also, they serve two critical functions in Pro-G system. They allow for each tube to be contained inside of itself, starting with the smallest, the grow tube or tubes, and then the other end fitting inside of the reservoir lid. Sounds boring, but this ensures that the nutrient solution can't escape and cause leaks. This is the attention to detail that actually lends to the simplicity of it all. They allow for easy expansion by simply adding a T-boot where there was a 90 or a straight boot where there was a row tube end cap. So you can build it out almost like a habit trail or the little hamster houses. Uh, think of it like that. You can run tubes all over the place. We have connectors and tubes. It's that simple. And that's what makes it modular. Again, using the combination of tubes and boots in conjunction with our custom-made reservoirs, our systems can be made to fit anywhere for any application. You can quickly see how ProGrow Hydroponics is thinking on a whole new level when it comes to control gardening and hydroponics in general. This is why I say we are the Ferrari of hydroponics, and this is just the beginning. Become part of the ProGrow family and join us in the future of hydroponics today. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube under ProGrow Hydro, and of course at www.progrowhydro.com. Have a good one.